is going on? We live. We live. We are live, ladies it's and Tuesday gents. Evening. Uh, we got some um, crazy people here live. <clears throat> We have, as always, Mr. Tampa Perry Comics in the house. Hey, hey. As, as always. Oh, let me lower that down. <laughs> you still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I still hear you. Oh, I know what's going on, guys. You got the YouTube video. Out of the right way. Mr. Tampa Perry Comics in the house. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And the one who who we who will be dropping a show real soon. We have the Jabroni, Edwin. What's hey. up, everybody? Welcome to Biopass. Biopass with who? With Rod. What? What are we? <laughs> <laughs> we are called because. Edwin is persistent. He wants this channel to be called Comic Triple Threat. That's it. Guys. Comic Triple Threat, guys. What is up to everybody in the chat? We got Rod, Comic Threat, Comic Geek McDee from across the pond. He's been patiently waiting yeah, for about maybe 40 minutes, man. An hour or two ago. <laughs> if, it, if it's time, that is correct. Bake the snake in the house. What's up, everybody? Oh, okay. What is up, everyone? We appreciate you guys joining us tonight. As always, every Tuesday night, we try to do what we do. Joke around. Maybe uh, give you some advice on what books to pick up tomorrow. And um, I don't know. There's so many stuff out there, guys. Um, I, It was difficult to pick which one because I got so many of my pre-orders already. Mm-hmm. But hmm, I think how about we do something like a um let's start off with your Marvel comic. Marvel. Let's Marvel. See. What are you looking forward to for Marvel? Because I know we got a bunch of indie stuff and um but we'll start off with Marvel and then we'll jump to DC because we're all DC guys. But let's knock out Marvel. Let's get that out the way. I don't way. know. I think Jabroni's seeing the light of Marvel. I think he might leave us, Rod. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Come man. on, guys. <laughs> are talking about, Rod, are we talking about cover or story we want to read? Oh, man. A mixture. Huh? I That is a very good point now. Because, for hey, man, for me, cover, it's either that symbiote Spider-Man, the, the art germ. I love the right. art germ. Or that Web of Venom, number one, the Del Auto, which is crazy expensive, but it is an awesome cover with Venom. That $80 one, huh? Or a hundred of that one, dude. Yeah, that is a fire. But I'll tell you what, though. We'll just go out there with both of them. We throw it out, everything in Marvel, what we want, what we want to read, and cover-wise. We just knock that out real quick. Because that's how we do. That's how we do. Oh, I'm ready to read Avengers No Road Home. I want to continue on with that story. You can't go wrong with that one. Yeah, that's good. That cover with Vision with the... Oh, my God. That's a sick cover, dude. Dude, but even the cover B, man, is really nice. The the Scalera. Mm-hmm. The Scalera cover. You got Immortal Hulk on there. Yeah. That's a sweet cover, man. Anything with Immortal Hulk is hot. <laughs> but, gentlemen, I ain't going to lie. I'm not buying no symbiote. None of that new stuff. I'm not. No. I'm what not buying I'm, I'm not. Gonna be, I'm going to be doing the symbiote. The cover C. And then that that Midtown Comics variant. Oh, oh that one. That that's freaking sick, dude. I know you're gonna buy them all, so <laughs> I'll just get them from you now. You you'll buy an extra one. Oh man, we've no, been my, never, my, right? my uh my favorite Marvel book this week, Dead Man Logan number nine. I've been enjoying that book so much, man. It's been a, it's been good to me. I like it. I mean, yeah, I haven't been reading it, man. He's slacking, man. The Mysterio. We got Wolverine in New York City fighting the Avengers, and then the X Men pull up. Like, no, we'll take care of this now. Like, <laughs> some craziness, man. Are they talking- and and look, we've been discovered, guys, as always. <laughs> JB's in the house. What up, JB? 
And our homeboy, another Floridian, Jeff Comic eight one three. Say what's up to this guy, man. He just he just had his birthday, and um, hey, you know, congrats, sir. You're turning older. Yeah, he hit me up the other day on Instagram, man. Had to tell him happy birthday. Digging what he's doing. Yeah, man. He was watching Shazam. That's what he was doing. Ooh, that movie. I gotta they watch that. that movie. Movie. I haven't seen it. So oh, oh. the book's so good, man. The book is so good. And then that, that Jim Lee cover that just came out. Ooh. Oh man. Don't don't hit me where it hurt, guys. Please. <laughs> and then uh another one before we get off of Mark, and I know Rob's gonna pick this up. Uh, <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 19. I know you're getting that one. I'm, Dude, digging, yeah, I'm, digging, that, sick. I'm digging that read. And the funny thing is, now that you mention that, I was going to take that off my pool list. And I said, no. When I saw that Craven was in it, I said, I'm going to keep on. And that's why I'm, I'm still buying it. You know? I took it off mine. Like, I went through my box just to see like what numbers I had from this new series. I think I had one, two, and maybe three, and I, I took it off. I was like, ah, I'm not really digging this. But once I knew Craven was coming back, yeah, I picked it back up. Dude, it's so dope, man. He is he is so like, oh, man. I'll, just, I'll finish reading um, uh, the last couple issues, and I was just like, dude, this guy is insane, man. He's so – he'd want to dress up in a suit and just be all cool and just try to fit in. But he's messing with your head, man. Yo, but, but I, you know what I really dig, and they, they talked about in the last issue, was how these like millionaire, billionaire people are paying to like be on this island as robots to and go for these things. Yeah, they just put the, the VR goggles on, man, and they're just wow. out there hunting. And they can even pay for like better weapon upgrades and like different skins for the robot. So it's like it's like Fortnite. If you play Fortnite, it's kind of like that, except. You know, obviously it's a little bit more, but yo, know, it's dope. I'm digging it. It was so cool. Go ahead, Perry. I'm sorry, sir. No, I said that's really cool. You know, like like hunting without actually being there. You know. Yeah, and the one guy just like just savage, just kills someone. <laughs> this is like all spooled. I'm sorry if you guys haven't read this. But <laughs> I have man, read. it was like, yeah, I killed someone. I killed someone. But everyone's just, you know, it's just crazy, man. <laughs> so we got uh, got ninety MF comics in the house. Cody, up, another, another Floridian. Yo, Florida's, oh, Florida's yeah. getting thick, yo. What is up, guys? Yeah, Cody Jones says hunted storyline is awesome. It has, it's been really good. All right, it got me back into Spider Man. Yes, Rod, Rod the comic vet. Yes, I am going to try and make it my mission. To pick up every tie-in of War of the Realms <laughs> and then look at myself in the future and be like, I'm glad I did it. Or I was really dumb in 2019. And they're on a daughter bench. <laughs> <That's laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> hey, Steve Steve Whiting is in the house. We just what? can't let that guy pass by. He was in the he just he said hi all Steve. So I know the, that War of the Realms that comes out tomorrow. It might be a big issue because Daredevil's supposed to get some god powers or something, right? Yeah, that one. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, he's gonna sword. be the uh, he's gonna be the guy that's watching over the the Rainbow Road of Mario Kart. Yeah, and on oh. one of the covers that came out for number one, he's actually holding the sword in battle, so he's definitely gonna be using that sword. And he looks kind of cosmicy, you know, like he's got like the stars and everything in the background. I like it. It looks pretty cool. Then you got, I guess that's Odin right there, just chilling. Nah, bro. I talked about it last week. War of the Realms, I'm sticking with the main, the main ones. Uh -huh. There's like um, there's three other issues that are going to tie into issue number four of War of the Realms. And then I'm going to pick those up. That's it. Hey, Perry, Mr. Uh, Mr. McD said, or he's asking, have you seen the cover B of Red Hood number 33? He he loves Red Hood, man. He likes Red Hood? I, hey, I like Red Hood. Sure, man. He's a man. gigantic fan. Red Hood is freaking well, and Deadpool, He loves Deadpool, too. Can I get to DC? That's when we're talking about it. <laughs> you want to jump to DC, right? <laughs> I don't have many this week for DC, man. I know, I know what you're waiting for. But, uh, hey, Mr. Boatwright in the house. Oh, right. I just saw his last video. Right. He won a box from a giveaway from Burke Nasty 54. Burke Nasty 54. A great guy, man. 
Steve's so congrats to on you me. winning boat, right? He's going to have to beat me to the local shop tomorrow. <laughs> Guess what, Steve? I already pre-ordered these books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So yeah, this definitely. red hood is phenomenal. This red hood looks like a like a Mortal Kombat character. Just he's ready to fight, you know, just waiting for it. I don't know. This is this is one of those. I love that cover. I would just buy that for the cover, guys. Yeah, that's why I'm buying it. <laughs> they're, like, they're like Skeletor, actually. And mm-hmm. wrap them up like that right now. Reading the story? I haven't read the story. I read the trade paperback for Volume One for Red Hood and the Outlaws, and that was really good. Dude, the story's good because you know, bat spoilers, spoilers. Spoil it. So Batman, I'm, I'm, kicked, I'm you know, Batman kicked him out of out of Gotham, right? So then he leaves Gotham and he and he, he gets this new suit. That's why he looks different. Mm-hmm. And now in this in this new run, he comes back to Gotham and he takes over Penguin's iceberg lounge. Wow. And he's got, he's got Penguin like hidden off in in his back, like um, like kind of like a prison in his own lounge. And then Batman Batman comes in. He's like, I told you not to come back to Gotham. And he said, no, you told Red Hood, I'm Jason Todd. <laughs> wow. So, dude, it's it's been good, man. That's why he's got Penguin in the in the fish tank. On one of the covers, <laughs> right? Yep, that's it. <laughs> hey, with that being said, we got the comic collector in the house. He said, what's up to us? What's and up? also, we have poor Mike in the house. He said, what's hey, up, hey. guys? How's it going? And there was a question here from... Let me see where was it at. The, uh, the comic collector. I tried my Walmart. Didn't. Oh no. Let me back. That long haired um, Captain Marvel is. variant. That's Cody like, Jones a... is asking anyone else pick up exclusive art germ Captain Marvel from Walmart. Edwin, was that you? No, nah, man. Like I told you, dude. The only one. The only one I grabbed was the Venom. So Venom. Hmm. Venom and Captain Marvel came out the same day, and they didn't have my my Walmart's. I went to like three; they didn't have them. Damn! Damn it! I'm gonna cross my fingers and just try to stroll in on a Saturday morning and be like, "Oh, look!" Dude, so Marvel. every what I read online was every Walmart only got two. Oh wow! Yeah, two of them, wow. and they were I think they're like seven ninety nine for a three pack. That's not bad. And that's not actually. Well, is this, is this like a spec bad, book? Because it's just like the other cover, except it has long hair. Yeah, it's, so the it's same, like it's the same book, except you know it's a variant, so she has long hair instead of the short hair. So people are just specking it on the cover, or is there any like content into it, or it's just going to be like one no, of those dollar books in a year? What a lot of people online are talking about is it's like a a small, like a super small print run of like less than ten thousand. But I mean that's. If that's your thing, you know, if I would have seen one that day, I would have picked it up, but I didn't find one, so I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna go on eBay and go buy one for twenty five dollars. I'm not gonna pay that either. Nah. Actually, they're still in that freaking was it major X or whatever the hell it's called. It's like fifteen bucks on eBay already. Right. No. Steve was asking if I got that black and white war, war of the realms and no, I thought about it. I held it in my hand. I wanted to get it, but I didn't. Yeah, I, he I took got, it easy on the cover one. You know, those books are expensive. They're what, like five ninety nine a pop. War of the Realm. Yeah, yeah. That's why you pre order it and get it like a dollar fifty off or something like that. But even yeah, even then, it's still more expensive than a, yeah. a regular two ninety nine, three ninety nine book. Yeah. So, oh, we got Carolina Chris twenty six in the house. What up? But this oh, comic comic geek McBee said on Key Collector Comics, high grade is going for 190. That's your range. That's your range, Perry. <laughs> Look, man, if you're gonna spend $190 on a Walmart book, you're a sucker. <laughs> Heck no, man. You're a sucker. No way are you paying that. Oh, yeah, man. Hey. That's someone trying to blow the market up and try to Ooh. Look, Perry, you need to get in with Carolina Chris. He said, I'm not buying all the tie-in. At least we got one smart person, man. I all can't- right, but look, what about the guy who winds up buying all the tie-ins and there's something really cool in the tie-ins and the book blows up and then I'm sitting here like, ha, I told you. But you bought, hey, you bought, you bought, you bought 100 hey, books to, one book to maybe blow up. No, but like, look, man, I've never went out of my way to buy a bunch of tie-ins. So I'm like, you know what, 2019, I'm trying new things. I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and... <laughs> and making my wallet a little skinnier. 
You know? <laughs> It's got to go on a diet, you know. Before <laughs> we're doing it. All right, uh, ladies. So, where should we jump at next? Since we got Amazing Spider-Man nineteen out the way, we got I'm, I'm, well, Savage Storm are we, are we, are we out the way. I, I'm I'm looking forward to a DC book right now. Oh yeah, I know a couple you DC are. books. And uh, I'm looking hey, for Perry. Take the floor. The floor is yours, Perry. Because we know where this is at. It. I'm looking for that Batman Who last issue number four. Cover A is fire. Cover B is a flame. And it's just insane. You know, yeah, like, man, if Grim Knight didn't get you excited for Batman Who last number four, I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah. You know, I, I'm freaking, I'm so happy. I'm so excited for this damn book. And the covers are sweet too, man. Oh, yeah. We got the, the Batman who laughs wrapping Batman up in a chain, like, which is a little bit weird because where we left off is our Batman is turning into the Batman who laughs. So why is he dressed up as Batman on the cover? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. What I've liked about the jock covers is every jock cover that's come out has been like, I don't want to say basic, but there's not a lot to the cover, but it's super awesome. Like, like this one, you know, it's just, it's, there's not a lot going on around it. It's a total it's very clean. It's Batman like, in, the, in the middle. It's kind of like when you walk into like an expensive mansion and you don't see a lot, but it's just enough, and it just makes it look good, you know. But like, every, not, the jock covers for the series has been the same way. Yeah, it hasn't been a lot, you know, going on with the cover. Not too much detail, just enough to say, "Dang, that's a that's an awesome looking cover." And if you notice on his utility belt, there's a splash of red with a wire coming out of it. So I'm thinking some type of bomb, trigger, something's gonna happen. So, I don't know. Or it could be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's some kryptonite around there somewhere too. And I was reading that one Batman issue and he had kryptonite. I forget which issue was it, but Superman was, I forget what it was. But he had kryptonite in his freaking belt. He and always was laughing, man. I was like, this guy's got damn kryptonite. Yeah, he always yeah, part of continuity, he always does. You never know when when, when his, Clark's going to act up. His belt, his belt, one of the pouches is lead lined, and there's always a piece of kryptonite in there. Oh. So if the man goes crazy, he can pull it out. <laughs> he always has it on him, man. Let me make Dude, note that of that so when I go to crazy, cosplay, man. I can put that in my belt. <laughs> put a little piece of green rock. <laughs> a little green rock in there. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm looking forward to Detective 1001, man. Uh, I, I still like haven't read 1000. I got it, and I still haven't read it yet. Dude, I, I'm getting both. I'm gonna get both covers because I think that the A cover, you know, looks awesome. I like the Arkham Knight on there. You know? Super cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Steve Whitey said, "I gotta get Batman Who Laughs." Hey Perry, can you um put Steve Whitey and 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 check here and tell him <laughs> what is going on? Why he's not buying it? Look, even if you don't read Batman Who Laughs, every cover has been amazing. You know, <laughs> every cover just looks good. It just looks good. You know, yeah. But yeah, this is the cover B, right? For that the detective. Yeah, the Finch, Finch cover. Super cool, man. So it's that it's like the same cover artist, uh, Detective One Thousand or Seven Hundred or Batman. I think it's Batman Seven Hundred. He did he did the cover for that one too. The Finch, right? Yeah, it's a Finch Finch cover. Heck yeah. Yo, Carolina Chris on here saying yeah, about almost a hundred dollars a week. Ooh. He's spending. On comic, wow! I would say, yeah. wow, but mine is got to stay about the same. Like from new comics, like like I, when I go on Wednesdays, and then when I go to half price books, or I go to the flea market, like it's about a hundred dollars. Adds up. It adds up. It adds up, man. It really does. Or eBay. Oh, don't talk about eBay. Ooh. Hey, hi, Elia Comics. What's up, Mel? Thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate you joining us on this. Tuesday night with these jabronis here. <laughs> Edwin, you see how I plug that in for you, man? Man, Edwin and his jabronis. They're, hey, guys, do, do you think Edwin and his jabronis should be a new show on his channel? Come on, man. Hey. I, I hear Come it. on, Edwin and his jabronis, or the New World <laughs> Comics and his jabronis. Ron has been about doing like a, the CWO, the Comic World Order, Edwin and his jabronis. Rod is always trying to come up with new ideas for live shows. Man. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up for the jabroni here, man. 
Thumbs we got, up. we got four thumbs up, so that counts as four <laughs> votes. Oh yeah. Nobody yeah. says dig it. I will <laughs> smash like on the video. <laughs> oh man. Hey, go ahead and ask him, Rod, about the about the name of the show now. All right, guys. So um, we all know it's called um buy or pass a new combo day, but we're gonna throw in there with either. Yeah, here it is. Edwin, you you do it, Edwin, because I want you to put the voice in it. I like the way you do it. So on Tuesdays with Perry, Rod, and myself is gonna be buy or pass with the comic triple threat. Or as Rod likes to say, triple comic threat. I don't know. I like the, the C T T. There it is, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, man. <laughs> We're gonna have a chick come on here one day. We're not on here, but who never knows, man. Hey, uh, hey, right. So your wife might be watching. No, she ain't watching. <laughs> I know she's not watching. She'll watch the replay, but uh, hey, so back to comic. We joke, joke about you guys. I love you guys. Yo, you got you got all thumbs up though for a new TV show you on your channel. <laughs> hey, John, John, comic with kids, comic triple threat. Yeah, we making t-shirts too. It's gonna happen. We making t-shirts. We got t-shirts coming. We got hats. We got ties. We got sneakers. What's up? We got hats. We got the whole outfit coming. We got hats. I'm gonna get one for John. T-T-T. All right, guys. So we were left going to uh, we were talking about DC and these beautiful covers. And Perry said he's gonna buy every variant cover of the Batman who lands as always. Yes. And I'm gonna get, of course, my Catwoman variant. I got that on pre order. Oh, the Catwoman. I like that one. Meow. Meow. That was a nice Love one. Catwoman. That's a beauty. With all the bats coming, and then you see like the the little gargoyle at the bottom that she's jumping off of. Yep. Super cool, man. The detail in her in her. Her outfit and everything is amazing, man. I dropped it, guys, for my pull list. You dropped it? Catwoman, man. Damn. Wow. Yeah. I was spending money, right, every two weeks on a book where I just want the cover, and I don't read, and I haven't read it since issue one. Wow. I didn't read it anymore, man. I want to save it. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you even read issue number one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. And that's what what Kenny doing. said. Kenny said, come a threat. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, okay. We'll 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 work around the name, guys. We'll work, <laughs> work around, man. But it's kind of triple threat. <laughs> oh man. We got big lion cat six four six in the house. Hey John, hey John says uh it's worth it's reading worth, worth it. read. Read the ones you bought. I'm gonna have to, but I got so much stuff I have to read. Like, I keep pushing that one back. Man, I mean, there's just so many stuff to read, and then you got so many stuff to buy. Where do you end though? That's the thing. I mean, your pool list start getting larger, and then you go to the shop. I spend, well, damn, it, everyone spends a hundred bucks there, and then I spent a hundred, well, close to a hundred last week, and you know, all bags and boards and comics. Plus my pre-order. Wow, I'm just like spending too much money, but um, aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. But, um, but let's talk about indies, guys. I think there we, I go. we need to talk about some indies because I know Edwin said he's got some stuff. Dude, I actually have more independent books on my list than I do Marvel and DC, man. Yeah. Like from Image, like Fair Lady number one. You guys, I want to read that. Hey, no, that's really that's good. Perry's favorite right there. That faithless. <laughs> hey man, faithless number one. I'm gonna be getting that one. I gotta say, I seen cover A. I was like, you know what? This looks cool. I might be able to find it at the shop. Let me get this poly bag variant, not knowing that it's an erotic variant. So <laughs> that's gonna be a surprise. I know John's comics with kids. I think Wednesday night he's gonna be reviewing that? this book. Oh yeah, that'll oh, be yeah. interesting. I can't wait to see that's that. Rage so Dave in the house. What's up? Wolf Warner, Mr. Gero. Oh, my, my homie, comic book villain, a fellow San Antonian. There you oh, yeah. go. We got some San Antonians in the house. Yeah, yeah bro. Are you trying to be like the Floridians here, bro? Yeah, too many Floridians, man. We got to get some Texans up in here, man. There we go. 
the Floridia Texans. Comic head talking about this one. I hear this orphan age number one, which I, I thought looked really interesting. Dude, the B cover sold out. Yep. Which is weird because I seen the B cover and it didn't really do it for me. I feel like this one kind of describes like it looks like a guy living in, in a city and he's like going through some rough time. Like it kind of like almost describes the book. The other one's just like some chick on a horse. You know, this looks weird. I don't know. Some chick on a horse. <laughs> hey, but it, it reads like, you know, just the synopsis that they give you on Midtown. Like it looks, sounds good to me. Yeah, I seen it. Like, that up. And then uh, from Action Lab, Cold, Cold, I think it's called Cold Blooded Samurai. Yeah, that one really piqued my interest. Yeah, that one right there. I think there's only one cover for it. Yeah, and the reason it picked my interest is because of another book that's coming out that kind of got me into this whole, like, samurai Japanese genre, you know? Which is... Comic Book Villain says, I have five copies of Faithless waiting for me. Oh, my God. The dirty, the dirty cover. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty cover. The dirty, dirty. I got one. Hey, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm, I got one coming from Midtown. And how much you pay for shipping? Just for one book? You order exactly. One book? You pay probably four dollars for a book, and then Midtown's gonna charge you six dollars for shipping. Hey but man, I, but it's gonna come shipped real good. <laughs> it's coming. Hey, you can rebag your board on the book. <laughs> one of the really nice hand boxes that I can reuse, so I'm not waiting. Yeah. I hate that. You get like five percent off. Be like, yes, twenty percent off a, you know, a twenty cent off a comic book shipping, six ninety nine. I'd be like, <laughs> what the heck, man? Right. Yeah, that's but not only we, do we still do it, though, guys. So, um, yeah, the cold blooded samurai looks really good. Little bird number one is a second print coming out. So if the you really print, love yeah. that, that first one, which I did. I'm going to I'm going to go out looking for that uh, that second print. Oh yeah. Cuz you never know, like it could be like uh like die where everybody's out there looking for that book, man. Get the second print if you can find it. Yeah. You never know, man. You just it, it's a hit or miss, so it's a different cover too. So that that's a plus. Usually it's like with an like, action cover, you see her like in an action pose, right? Yeah, yeah, she's in the action pose and I think the big dude's right behind her. Yeah. I see that. I'll keep an eye out. But yeah, there's no, one book that everyone's talking was, about. Uh, it's that, <clears throat> that, that fair Rony lady. Island. Yeah, that fair lady. Yeah. Hey, I, what's I, that one? I didn't read that preview. I wish I had before I got on the show, but yeah, I think um, I think the B cover. I think the B cover to Fair Lady's already sold out too on Midtown. That's what the the white rain, like the rain hitting her face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pick one up if it's on uh. If it's at my, my LCS, I didn't buy it online. That A cover with the yellow background and they're both standing like this, that's a homage cover, right? That's a homage Batman and Robin cover. Is that what that cover is? Yeah, because that's... Uh, yeah. Batman and Robin I've seen it and just like instantly, there's a Batman and Robin cover just like that with the yellow background and they're both standing like that with the vehicle behind yeah, them, Batman. I think. Batman and I, just, Robin. I can't remember which, which one it was. Yeah, that is a that is an homage. Damn, you picked yeah. that out. I, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's why I'm like, why is everyone going for that B cover? Like, that first one, jump on that one, you know? But yeah, I was looking at that, some of the movie. things that are on second print. How about Die Number 4 is on second print? Is it? So is the Mortal Hulk. Wow, yeah. I've seen a bunch Hulk of Mortal Hulk stuff out of hand, guys. Yeah. That Hulk stuff is It was like just like instantly sold out. Right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rony Island number Ronan. number two. That cover A is fire. At first, I thought it was just a samurai, but this black shadow. It's like there's another guy there with a the sword. So freaking cool. And then the other cover is kind of like the cover B that came out for number one, like that same art style with like the brown and blacks, which looks really cool. And you know that one was sold out for a while in Midtown, but I guess they got more copies. Yeah, I, I've been seeing Midtown doing that a lot lately. Like a book will sell out, and then like on Friday or Saturday, it just restock. Now, do you like it though? The story? I did. I did. You know, there's cat butts in there, so it's pretty good. It kind of, like, it kind, it was kind of slow. The whole racing with them two. It was. But and it, then it was at, really at the end, that yeah. nice little cliffhanger. I want to know what's going to happen in the second yeah. with the zombies. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pick that up for sure, guys. Yeah, like, 
like three, four, like 75% of the book. I was like, ah, this is not really neat for me, you know, but then right there at the end, they, they hit you with them zombies. Yeah. Okay. OB. They were writing, they were writing the book and then the writer's like, I don't know what to do. Put some zombies in there. <laughs> Put some zombies. Samurai zombies. And you can't go wrong with that, man. Can't go wrong. No. So, I mean, if anyone want to go out there and try to pick up some um, second prints. I'm sorry, Edward. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Nah, man. I'm trying to do my, my best impression of, uh, of Jeff. And uh, boy, Biggie Shaq is in the house. What's up, Biggie Shaq? Biggie Shaq. Yo, Biggie. Oh, that, what, that's all I got, bro. What second prince, Rod? Was it um, Die? Die uh, well, four? Beside Die's, but Guardian of the Galaxy issue number two is on second print. So Immortal Hulk number two is on fourth print, guys. That I mean, how ridiculous this is again. <laughs> Immortal Hulk number four is on the third print. And think of this one. Number five, issue number five, Immortal Hulk, is on third print. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous, man. Oh, and those man. covers are dope as hell. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh what is it, number seven with the Avengers on it? Because that's the issue. I think that, that's the issue, right, where he beats the crap out of the Avengers. So I think it's number seven. I don't know anything about Immortal Hulk. Uh, 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 look here, because I got there. Harry, you don't know anything about Immortal Hulk? I know he's immortal. I don't know. <laughs> Don't I know, worry. I know he's he's this, just, book, uh, this this cover is him, right? I yeah, think, I think that Avengers? that's like the first appearance of the Mortal Hulk. Okay. And if you don't have that book on my YouTube channel, Perry Comics, I'm doing a giveaway where you could win that first appearance of a Mortal Hulk. So you're gonna regret it that much. Don't do it. <laughs> I already have more, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Then go ahead. You know, I'm gonna go sure. back. <laughs> yeah, I just uh. I showed these guys earlier. I just picked up an Immortal Hulk lot from my, my buddy Alan. Oh yeah. He gave me practically gave me issues one, one through like thirteen with a couple issues missing in there. But show it off. Show it off. Just in case oh, anyone that doesn't know, what are you talking about? So. I got all the big ones, man. And, oh, yeah. and he gave me six eighty four. There it is. Six eighty four pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> number one. Oh, man. Let me get that. Number two. No, nah, I don't need that. Number, number three through whatever, man. So I got those at a steal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those as trade bait, man. Trade bait. For real, dude, I'm looking for Batman Beyond number one. So if anybody in the chat has a Batman Beyond number one, let me know. And we'll do some trading. And if you have the Six Flags variant, I'm looking for that one. No, I don't want that one. I want that one because I'm a big Six I grew up in Jersey next to Six Flags. So, Sentimental Valley. Yeah, I want um, so, <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Get some water, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's on Coke right there. But um, Boatwright is asking about Daredevil. Oh, you yeah, reading Daredevil. I, I, I buy it and I read it. Man. I haven't been, I haven't been, re I haven't been getting it. I did the Man Without Fear, and then I bought the new Daredevil series that started right after that. But I read like two pages, and I was just like, I don't feel like reading anymore. You read, so you got the book. You read two pages. I read two pages, it. and I was just like, I'm not gonna force myself to read this. No, dude, you gotta give it a chance. If, if man. you can't grab me in the first two or three pages, then you lost. You got the book. You might as well finish it. Yeah, man. Guess what? Everyone needs toilet paper. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't hate on daredevil guys Not read it you. don't listen to perry read it it is a great book because i read it today and i can't wait to the next issue i've never i've never been the biggest daredevil fan either like i've tried i've read you know i've read the the runs at the at the very the early ones uh what was it mcfarland did mm. I've, I've read a bunch man and i just i never really got into it man dude how God, you're such a badass if you're blind. <laughs> Homeboy got shot and he's laying down on the floor, but he can see behind. Like, he doesn't even need to look at you. Now he, he's, he's laying there on the floor. He got like eyes behind his head. He knows exactly what you're doing. It is so fire, dude. Comic at 84 said, Damn, two to three pages? Tough critic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a little bit, man. Yeah. Sure. Sometimes that's just hot, man. I don't hey, know. 
But if any, any of you guys want a, a major X poster, they're going for eight ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> I got mine on pre-orders though. The, the the book. I got the book on pre-order. So I got hey. the book coming in the mail. So I figured I'll wait to see if it shoots up anymore. <laughs> We're getting a thumbs down. I should screenshot it right now. Thumbs down for everyone. This book is gonna go for uh minus ten dollars. So it just really rubbed me the wrong way, like how he acted, like such a he's he's like a buffoon, you know. Like, why is Rob acting like that? You know, I don't know, dude. So full disclosure, right? Of course, I picked up an issue of Major X number one. I grabbed one, three ninety nine, three ninety nine. I might as well. Okay, whatever. I've I've done worse things with my dance with four dollars. So let me get it. I couldn't even read it, bro. Like it was so bad. Oh the artwork God. was just disgusting i can't believe marvel even let that slide well cody jones is asking a question did rob lifefield unblock key collector yet um <laughs> i don't know if, if um gonna block our whole community if com <laughs> if comic tom didn't mention that yesterday on his live stream then i don't know i guess not and we haven't seen anything you know any news about that yet what what blows my mind away is what he was posting pictures of eBay thing. transactions of cover A selling for double the cover price, but it was on Midtown. Yeah, it was. I, still, under, it was I, was, I was posting on Instagram like, "Why are you guys buying these damn books for f freaking ten, fifteen dollars? It's a three dollar book." Because they're selling out, I guess, like in like a small towns or whatever. Like, well, you yeah. know how you know Winter Haven, Florida is a small town. So but if you, you have your local LS, LCS that has like five books, it's going to sell out. And then they go to eBay, next thing you know, it's $15. I but mean, they're, on, they're, they're on Midtown for three ninety nine. Not everybody knows that, man. I guess. Not but then you have to pay for $6 shipping, and then you'd be like, Edwin. It's that still cheaper than $15. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't going to lie, man. I bought, a, I bought a die book, and I paid... I think I bought well then again I bought like four books on grandcrackers.com and I pay five dollars for shipping, but I got like six books. And that's a plug to grandcrackers.com. If you guys don't order from there, check them out. And their packing is great, man. I'm telling you. Bro, so you got major X, right? I haven't read it. I'm waiting for it in the mail. Wait till Likewise. you get this. I feel like going over there and grabbing this book. Just to show you this, I, I, we saw. Do I saw it. your video. The the whole dude, and... the proportions, man. Like, how does the person's shoulder like just start down here? It doesn't make sense, man. It, oh, it's man. bad. It's bad. And Rob Liefeld is super proud of his work. I bet he is. And I can't draw. So honestly, my drawing would look like that. I mean, I try you to draw. People pay like, for it. Like I legit, I try to draw, and I just. I don't know, man. Like, how do you how do you spend thirty years as a professional in a career, yeah, and hey, just neglect trying sure. to improve your craft? You know, Tommy villain says he has that Spidey Deadpool forty seven for the first appearance of Manipulator. I did too. Like, I got it because uh, Jim Jim Comics. I watched this show, and he said, you know, go pick this up for first appearance of Manipulator or whatever his name was. I had no idea this Major X was in there. Yeah. Until I saw Rob Liefeld like throw a fit, he's he the one who made it known. If he wouldn't have thrown a fit about it, nobody really would have known. Yeah, and then For driving sure. people to his website to try to buy this copy. This is the true first appearance. Only one hundred dollars. <laughs> Ever, man. So, yeah. um, Edwin, I know you're the king of speculation. I, I'm, you know, I follow you. Whenever you throw out a video, you say speculation. I go out there at Walmart. I get the book. <laughs> you speculation. You let me know because you know you're my key. You're you're. I'm the key comic. You Edwin specs. So that's who I go to. I don't for tomorrow. Are you talking about tomorrow? Like speculation for tomorrow? Well, anything, bro. You hit me, dude. Honestly, like I'm already picking up Detective One Thousand One. But I think that cover A is going to be big because that's going to be that first cover appearance of the Arkham Knight. Yeah, like in continuity, that's going to be first first cover appearance. Plus, it's a it's a pretty dope cover, man. 
And then, damn, man, there's not much. There's not really much spec going on tomorrow. It's That's just going to be a lot of good stories. A lot of good stories and some really nice covers, too, man. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to pick up Invaders. I want to pick up Invaders. I think it's issue number four. Another Marvel book I'm going to get. But most of these are on pre orders, guys. God. It's just so hard to. Um... Dude, because, you know, you save, you save some money on the pre ordering. But then, then you got to watch videos like mine and Perry's and everybody else that makes videos, and it kind of spoils it all for you. But see, I don't mind the spoilers unless it's something I really, I really want to read, and then you know, you give me a uh, fast forward two seconds, and I'd be like, my fingers are too fat. I can't fast forward two seconds. Like my video, like my videos, I try, like I tell you at the beginning, I'm, I try to do it without giving so many spoilers. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do a good job. You always do a good job. I always tell you, like, all right, fast forward ten seconds to get past the spoilers. I kind of want to do like, like spoilers like make my video about the spoiler like go over every book i picked up and just spoil it for everyone just because i feel like there's people that are on the fence about buying the book and they're like that sounds pretty cool and they might pick it up or they're like thank god i didn't pick that damn book up because it sounds pretty bad i don't know well, there you go biggie chat said he loves spoilers oh yeah there we go leave your milk out it'll get spoiled <laughs> 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 Comic book villain says Detective Comics Batman Who Laughs will be unmasked. I I don't know. I haven't heard that one. Detective Comics Batman Who Laughs will be, he'll be on the mask in Detective Comics. I mean, he probably means a Batman Who Laughs series. But we already know who he is. I don't know. He's gonna have to. Isn't he Batman? All right, ladies. We have a chat. I mean, a chat question we have from Brett. SR asking anyone looking at Faithless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the one with the, the triple X erotica cover. Yes. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I was what not thinking about room, that because right? I don't want to see the boobies that I come home to every day. That's the one. You know it's gotta be if Midtown is only showing like like the red and saying this is the bad this is gonna be a hardcore cover. It's gonna be a hardcore cover. It's gonna be hardcore because Midtown has other covers on there where like they like just got to be tramp like, and they'll just put like the sensor bar. Yeah. Like this one this is gonna one, be full on gonna, like this one's gonna be like that Savage Dragon that came out a year and a half ago. Have you have you guys seen that one? I have I am not pretty up to date on my erotica covers. Dude. <laughs> like Savage Dragon is a is a character that's been around right since the early nineties. Yeah. Maybe late eighties. But last year, year and a half, they did a straight up triple X porno cover and had it in a black poly bag. Oh my. Wow. Do not look do not look that up on Google if you don't want your kids to see it, man. No, don't live stream it. No. <laughs> dude, it is hardcore, man. Oh, we got Wolf Warner say Arkham Knight is the biggest key tomorrow. <laughs> did you look it up, Perry? No, I got Bear Island over here. Said I just got here, and we're already talking about boobies. <laughs> Guess I'm staying. <laughs> hey man, we gotta have a new. Uh, we gotta have Marvel, Image, Independent, and then Erotica. <laughs> hey, uh, where did where did John Cummins with kids go? He ran away. <laughs> hey, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, Perry Cummins was talking about cat butts. Hey, oh, that was in Rony Island number one. There might be some more cat booty in this one. You never know. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Tommy, Tommy Geek McBee says, uh, asked, did you guys hear about Invisible Woman getting her first mini series coming out in July? I have not, I, sir. I haven't heard that. I have not. And uh, in all honesty, I probably won't be getting it. I'm not a Fantastic Four uh, fan. Well, I'll probably get it. Just one cover. I know um, somebody in the panel here will probably get um, six covers. All the covers. Because, you know, that's how Marvel does, man. A through Z on the covers. Hey. Actually, I was watching a video that Reddy, um, Reggie dropped. He said that um, they're going to put out Amazing Spider-Man. Which issue was it? I want to um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you've seen his um, video today. I think it was like issue 14. 
and they put in out all these variant covers. So go out if you haven't seen it, just go check it out. And he's just like, you know, I, we would just I, I comment, I said one cover, one variant is good enough for me. And he, you know, he pretty much agreed too. But that was it was an interesting thing that he uh, he put out there. So Mid Midwest Comic Man says I think CGC refuses to slab that cover, the the Savage Dragon one. Really? It's bro, I'm about to send it to you on Instagram. Oh man. So just, it's all, no, but I, it's like the all blacked out. It's okay. Yeah, I'll take it out. But well, Chad got a question. He said, anyone interested in Web of Venom Coat of Carnage? Yes. Oh yeah. I'm interested in the cover A. The A cover. It's really, really cool. The air cover is really cool. I, I pre ordered it right away because you see, like, it looks like a legit cult. It looks freaking awesome. Like, this is a cool last cover. And then we got, um, I believe this is cover B with um, the villain, Mr. Venom, Mr. Venom over here. And we got Spider Man. And they're about to throw down, you know, like they typically do. And then Jabroni's favorite cover, which is the mighty expensive cover. Yeah. <laughs> is uh venom and fire and what's really cool is you see like he's in pain right but then like there's like these little faces down here in the flames so like i wonder who's burning him <laughs> Dude, if I, <laughs> I hear somebody this is my little man. he's saying daddy or something <laughs> Dude, if i could afford he said, "Batman, Batman who lies, Batman who lies." If I find that web of venom, that Delato, I would get it, man, because it is—it's super dope. Like that—that's a slabable cover. It just looks that beautiful. Spawn two ninety eight, two ninety nine covers. Oh, I have seen that because he's doing cover swipes. McFarlane's doing cover swipes of uh, Spider Man ASM two ninety eight, two ninety nine. Here we go. Some more covers to spend money on. So it's uh it's crazy, man. Oh, Michael Risco, you'll like this. He says comic triple threat is eh. That's my two cents. He says he likes comic kings. Mm. The comic kings. Comic kings. kings. Or the comic triple threat. That's man, that's my fave. Kings. I don't hey, we give the people what they want, guys. Give the people what they want. That one. Or Pe this time, Perry, you plug out there what should the people want to hear when we do Fire Pass with the Comic Kings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know, man. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> you do it, by the way. Fire Pass with Comic Triple Threat. <laughs> CTT. CTT. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> Anyone get an amazing comic geek with D? Amazing Spider Man 252 for facsimile? Uh, no, I'm good, bro. I got I got two copies of. This is the only fac facsimile I've ever had. That's my first, that's my that's first, first 9.8 right there, buddy. That's my first 9.8. I shot it to my buddy. He's like, oh my God, you're rich. I'm like, nah, dude. <laughs> you should have sold it for fifty. You no, that, would, that would not be right, man. You should have sold it for. <laughs> no, he's broke. <laughs> what, what do you guys think about this new Wonder Woman? I kind of like this cover. Yeah, passing. Now you passing on it? Who's drawing that one? Who's drawing it? It's some chick. Kare. Hey Kare. yo. Tommy Head eighty four said we should call ourselves Degeneration Specs. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and on another note, Carolina Chris 26 is asking. He said, Well, he's not asking, but guys, I'm really trying to figure out which War of the Realms issue it is that Daredevil has the man, it's going fast the Arsgadian powers of him and all the all seer. Wow, yeah, that's tomorrow's issue. There you go, that's, that's why he's on the cover with the sword, sword. he's holding the sword. And now he's uh now he's the the keeper of the the rainbow road from Mario Kart, like I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, man. I told you guys last week I'm only getting the main covers of War of the Realm. The main or the main series. 
Oh man, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any more. I got the first issue, that's probably it. I don't need to buy any more. Probably wait to uh, free combo day. Perry, I'm telling you, we'll go to Tampa. I'll be <laughs> there at nine o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. Damn. And I'll get all those books for a dollar, man. Yeah. That's it. Oh, man. I'm not paying $4.99 for a book. <laughs> now, I get now, all those books for a buck. I went last about- year. I spent 80, I think 70 or 80 bucks for my first free combo day. And every issue I bought was a dollar. And I got back issues for that. I got variants that were ten dollars. I got them for a dollar. Damn. Yeah, and I got the video up somewhere in my channel. So I'm not lying. on War of the Realms. Yeah. Uh, speaking of War of the Realms, um, this week comes out their first tie-in. <laughs> um, so we got War of the Realms number two, and then we got um, As Guardians of the Galaxy number eight, which is going to be their first official tie-in. I'm assuming. No, I thought uh, Journey Journey into Mystery comes out this week. Because I know As Guardians of the Galaxy number eight is also dying. There you go. There we go. Let 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 the uh let the spending begin. But actually, <laughs> doesn't that um Spider Man Deadpool forty nine come out? The uh, one everyone's talking about? Are they gonna get that or try to get it? Which one? Spider Man Deadpool forty nine. That's the one everyone's talking about. I've seen people out there talking about that. 47 is the one everybody's talking about, Major X. Yeah, that, that one yeah. came out in March. 47. Hey, but this one right here, this this Strike strike Force, these are the only tie-ins I'm going to get from, from War of the Realms. So issue, uh, War of the Realms, issue number four is going to he- like deal heavily with, with those new teams, with these, whatever they're, the uh, Strike Force teams. So you heard it here, guys. Yeah, you 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 put me down with that, and uh, and you know what? That's is that considered respect, or you're assuming? And usually you're right, and I probably I probably buy it because you said it. I don't think it's gonna be spec though. It's more like if you want to know more about the story, right? Because usually tie-ins, you can read it, and it has nothing to do with the main story. You could have done without it, but uh, with these. You're, you're probably going to have to read these to kind of understand what's going on with the main story. Well, the comic collector said, how about Doomsday Clock? <laughs> Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> what's that coming out in 2020? Yeah, uh, man, it was, and my I, was, I was happy to see Dr. Manhattan. Thank God, finally, Dr. Manhattan after a whole year. <laughs> and a whole year and a half. Yeah. And my boy Kenny, comic head in the house, he, he loves that Doomsday because he loves that Watchmen. He knows my feeling on Watchmen. Hey, Ken, if you're watching, that could be a new uh, – you could bring that up with you and the guys, that new show, what you're going to do with White Wheel Comics and all that. Hey, Doomsday's Clocks, man. You could um, you could do that on the show. Yeah, that uh, read the first Chad is saying read the first two arcs, God Bomb and the God Butcher, like that that Thor God of Thunder run that came out. I read it on the Marvel Unlimited app. It is it's awesome, man. And that's pretty much like that was the beginning of what all this War of the Realms is. Very cool. That is, that is the very beginning. And I wanted to show you uh, before we before we go too far. Uh, yeah, the. So the most disgusting, the most I knew disgusting it. cable ever, dude. Look at this. Oh man. Look at this hot garbage, bro. Man, look at that man. right there. Woo, that's bad. That's that so was bad. one sexy body. Dude, look where his arm is coming out of. Why isn't it up here where his shoulder is? Why is he holding the gun outward? <laughs> He's a G, yo. Yeah, God. you're right. He needs to hold it sideways. What is what is <laughs> the comic body said awful. It's a slow burn. <laughs> Dude, just throw them, throw them all into a big bonfire. It's a slow burn. <laughs> Brett, Brett has art said cable is life vest. Yeah, dude. Hashtag no not my cable. <laughs> yeah, bro. And and I paid I paid four ninety nine. I paid five bucks, man. Not me. Half price. Pre-order, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my 
15 minutes. Trade bait. Hey, anybody in the uh anybody anybody need this book? Anybody want that? Anybody need it? I'm looking for uh Amazing Spider Man uh one <laughs> nine. Chris oh, Chris twenty so, I need it. Man, just burn that book. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Bad. Come on, Jabroni, you're not gonna get it a freaking uh you're not gonna get it graded, man. Come on. Oh that's a we got Mike right Michael Risco <laughs> Major X is is death gonna be in the dollar bills. So okay, so I will tell you this though. Um Deadpool was the same exact way though when it came out. So um New Mutants 98, when that book came out, nobody was really on that book. You could find that book in Dollar Bin. Look at that. Beautiful. Damn, that's new. It's just a new bag and board, guys. But that that book right there was the same way, man. It was in dollar bins for the longest time until they started talking about making movies. And that's when it picked up steam. So am I saying Major X is the next Deadpool? Hell no. This is disgusting. But you you just never know. (laughs) Mine's better than yours, buddy. When'd you get that? (laughs) Oh, you want to hear a story about this book? Story time. We got two minutes. Can you hurry? Oh, I can't. This is longer than that. I'm Actually, saying this is like this is like a this could be like an eight point oh. I have to say, guys. Dude, I'll give you. I'll, I'll tell you off air. I'll give you two shiny nickels in this badass copy of Major X. Awesome. So, <laughs> hey Kenny, I am spinning. I'm pulling. I'm uh, spinning it. I'm trying to shine it up real nice. Yeah, I'll trade you that uh, Turok number one for it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I got a few dozen this of them. This is crazy, man. Hey, so I guess, uh, and I plug my giveaway ride. It is your channel. I don't know. Is. Man, this is our channel, man. Do it, brother. <laughs> Listen, guys. On my channel, I am giving away my one. It's my one year anniversary. And Perry, Perry, you got to give away too. So after uh, that one, you do yours, Perry. Four four hundred subscriber giveaway contest. I'm giving you guys a month just to go to that video and just say I want in. All right, I'm doing. I'm giving away that Avengers. This is the Phase One Avengers briefcase. It has every movie on Blu-ray plus some goodies, some extra goodies in there. Hopefully, I win. First place gets that. And then second place, I'm giving away Credible Hope number 12 and 13. Oh yeah. Second place, guys. So go check out uh go check out my channel. It's the it's the first video that's on there, guys. Harry. Damn my damn throat scratch. Yeah, right there. Where's your yeah, bottle man, of water at? I ran out of water, man. I drank it all. <laughs> Take a deep breath, sir. Through your nose. Inhale. Anything. Exhale. <laughs> My nose is clogged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So on my on my channel, I'm like, what? I'm at 270 subs. So for 100, I'm giving a book away. 200, I'm giving another book away. If I hit 300 by the end of the month, I'm gonna give another book away. If I hit 400, I I'll throw another book in. But I don't know. Go to my channel. My latest video giveaway. I'm giving away some. Uh, look at that. That's a book that a couple people might want. You know, I don't know. Nothing special. You know. Got a. Uh, this one in 60. You know, Cosmic Ghost Rider, pretty cool book. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, signed by Mr. Cates. Got that authenticity in the back. And then Hardcore, one of my favorite books. This is a, like a variant that you don't find. Like, this is exclusive to only Mega Box people. And I got one, so I'm gonna be giving those books away. So yeah, that's some dope books. And it's pretty cool that um, Bear Island Comics said um, this is like an all-star panel of people I'm sub to with notification. I'm almost required to be here. Hey, um, Bear Island Comics, well, we thank you. And that means a lot to oh, us yeah. because, um, you, know, we, you know, we like to talk about what to buy or pass, but at the same time, we like to have fun. And um, Edwin and Perry, they're some cool people. So, guys... Follow these gentlemen, all right? Even though they don't wear hats, I wear a hat because I have to block this glare. <laughs> oh, real quick. Add me on Fortnite, Super Cuban Jew. I'm looking for people to play with. There you go. Fortnite. Get demolished by Perry Comics or get demolished by the Jabroni. Now, he plays Fortnite too, I think. He has it. 
Oh, let me, right. yeah, let me, uh, I'll throw, I'll throw my, uh, if you play Fortnite on, oh, play table, uh, on anything, hit me up, guys. Oh, yeah. Whatever you're good. Click. I'll play. I'll talk a lot of crap. <laughs> thanks, oh. thanks, everybody, for, for joining us tonight, for sure. Kachun, thank you, sir, for the compliment. And with that being said, gentlemen, we end it with a good night. And, uh, wow. Woo. Omega, baby. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Hey, everybody.